The governor also said that federal authorities have placed a few detained children in Connecticut. More reaction tonight to the separation of those families at the border. News 8's Noel Gardner live in News 8 Control tonight with a response from some local organizations. Noel. Darren and Ann, even though the president signed the executive order, some say the damage has been done. Churches and organizations are speaking out. Church leaders across Connecticut say the latest incident separating children from their families was immoral. That this is not acceptable, and this is not not in the nation's interest, nor is it for the common good, nor does it respect the dignity and rights of people. Archbishop Leonard Blair says there is a desperate need for reasonable immigration reform. It's been a topic that's been going on forever, and. Uh, this latest incident of the separation of children from their families, from their parents, from their mothers and fathers, is yet another very tragic and sad uh, indication of how serious the problem really is. Episcopal priest Stephen Holton says national divisions and borders is not what matters. Anything that keeps children with their families uh, in a loving, holy relationship is, is probably a good thing. But ultimately, we've got to look at immigration systematically in our country. Save the Children works with kids all around the world who have been separated because of war and conflict. They say they're concerned with what has happened to kids on the border. A lot of trauma for children, um, trauma that lasts a long time, so we're really, really concerned at what's happening to these children. Yeah. Carolyn Miles is weighing in on President Trump signing the executive order to stop separating families. So we need to make sure that we see what the president has put forward. So far, there are no details, uh, but it really has to, has to completely end the separation of parents and children. Save the Children protects children all around the world. They ha say they have an obligation to protect the kids. Reporting live tonight in News 8 Control, Noel Gardner, News 8.